Good morning, everyone. You're listening to Trace Elements Radio. Of course, on Studio A, Revolution Radio, and Trace Elements Radio. And we are joined today by, well, several others. I don't know everybody, but um, Will Spirit Radio as well. And we're here with Chief Charles Tudak. I hope, I think I brought him in. Oh, it's the girl is gonna oh. go, Tracy. Can you can you hear me good? It's gonna go, it's gonna go, it's gonna go. <laughs> yeah, it's great you're here. You know, we had I had a plan for today. We are not taking plan A, we are officially in plan B. Um for the people who have not heard Chief Charles Tudak before, you have missed out and please to begin um, tell us about yourself well n- number one I'm the uh, principal chief of the United Western Lenape Nation here in Kentucky and uh, we work together for unity of all indigenous people also but uh, we also uh, speak with indigenous nations like the Maori that have actually been here uh, and sit and talk with us. Uh, we're getting flags from all over the world right now, but uh, the basic thing is I've been fighting for uh, rights of indigenous people, burial grounds, others, other things of that matter, Tracy. Plus, I've also done, uh, if you haven't heard before, we uh done the uh, Heart Drum, which has been a uh, radio show that we have done for years together. And uh, I was uh, born Eastern Band Saligi in uh, New York Mohawk, Trace. Thanks for bringing that up, too. Because you didn't know your entire life that you were part Mohawk as well. Is that correct? Well, I didn't know it until one of my cousins, one of my cousins from uh, the, New, the New York Mohawk, or the Mohawk Nation in general came up to me at a powwow and actually started hugging me. I was like, I didn't know who she was, you know, and I was like, well, you know, that was nice. And she uh, sat down and actually uh, showed me exactly where I come from. It's so interesting because you and I had talked about this before on air and and off privately where I told you 100% you're Mohawk. Yeah, she kind of went, you know, it's the nose, you can't miss it, you know. But it yeah. was, was well, kind of funny how she said it, but yeah, you. she said that uh, facial features and other things of that manner, you, you can't miss it. Those high cheekbones. Yeah. And yeah. there's so this man I, called Brandt, who I am related to, via mm-hmm. marriage seven generations ago who two dog looks so much like him I mean side by side this picture you're not sure if you're looking at two dog or not mm-hmm. but I said yeah, uh, listen I, I've seen the picture and it's actually you know the picture of this uh, other gentleman like you're talking about and it's awfully it's awfully spooky because I didn't, I was like, when was I in Canada, yeah? <laughs> but, but, yeah, uh, matter of fact, uh, a lot of my background searches that I've done, uh, it's it's hinting straight up into, Mo- you know, Mohawk territory. You know, we've spoken about this before, and I'm not sure if everyone understands this but you've been visited by people from all over the world tell yeah. people what it means when someone gives you their flag well it, it represents you know if, uh, if we allow say we have our flag here as the leader of my nation I'm setting that I'm speaking with someone from say, uh, let's go with uh, the Māori that actually did come here. They gifted me their flag, and it's in 
it's flying next to mine as the t two diplomats speak with each other. It's one of the biggest honors that this young this young Indian has ever had, or you know this old Indian or whatever has ever had. Period. As far as being able to help each other within communication of what we can do for your 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 elders, which is that's the wisdom. Then your children, because you set your next generation in, especially especially in my culture, and you know as well, Tracy, that uh, it's the life givers. It's the women. Without them, there would be no Mari, no Western Lenape, no Mohawk, no America, no Canada, no nothing. And being able to speak within the two diplomats side by side as both flags are flying and both diplomats are sitting side by side within this ceremony and within this talking together, it brings a people, it brings different people together with one yes. mind, one heart, one spirit to do what we can for each other. You know, what, what Tudog is sharing with us here is what the United Nations pretends to be. But when you bring a flag, that means that you honor that nation, that we are now in detente. So it is a time of speaking. Right. It is the old way. And it's important because I was going to go here anyway on my show by myself, but we can go here together on how it's women in the old way who decide who is going to be the head man. And Tudak and I were talking about this before. We think, and you know, another time I'll go into it, that we think the first man, the real reason for that title was not just about walking down the aisle. It meant that that man was the chosen man yeah. to speak yeah. for us. Not in the way we've been told about pharaohs and kings and, mm -hmm. and even chiefs in the way it's been sold to us. But please tell people on how you became chief of... Uh, the Lenape Nation. Well, the Western Lenape Nation here is it's run, which I have actually since I've been the uh, chief for the last since uh, oh February last Fe you know before this February I've been in it for now I've been head chief now for a little over a year, and uh, to be honest with you, we have uh, put back the Metro Oracle Society. Basically, I'm just a, I'm a chief, but I'm a spokesman for the people. The women run the tribe, like the clan mothers and other things of that matter. And to be honest, I didn't even run for any position. I didn't run for an election. That's I was important too. voted in by the people. This by was the, the women. way that this continent was supposed to be run. Because there's different rules here. We'll get into that mm -hmm. later, but this is why we're talking about what is the best man. You were chosen as the best man, the next chief, by mm -hmm. um, the woman who had been in charge for actually 40 years, no? Yeah, pretty much. The uh, What happened was the also she's a she's a very respected elder but she was uh our chief for many many years and uh she actually sat down with the uh, other clan mothers and other people of the uh nation in general and actually put you know said i was the the best for what needs to be done and they voted me in. I I didn't run for this. There was no elect. You know, I didn't. I'm not a politician. Number one, politicians are freaking. That to me, they're liars. Anyway, 
I've been, you know, I took care of the people for years here. And, you know, different burial ground situations that I've had to be in as far as court situations and things of that matter. And I always uh, went and seen if the elders needed anything or how's your kids or hold up the woman, do whatever I got to do. And uh, they took me in to run the, run this nation. In the old way. There was not elections, and and I realize how people think, well, that's not democratic. No, it's not. The elders would sit and talk and find the best man. And when a man is chosen as chief, it's a big deal. It's a really big deal. Not yes, given the title... Not like kings because they're a certain family, but given the title because he is the best man. Well, you know, here's here's another point of this, Tracy. Mm. Throughout my time, when I was, uh, now I'm, 50, I was I'm, I'm 56 years old, but when I was four, I went to my grandfather and I spoke to him about all indigenous people, you know, all indigenous nations here on Turtle Island. I was only four years old, and I held up my hand in front of my grandfather like this, and I said, if we stay like this, and I held my hand wide open, I said, they're going to continue to run. And then I closed up what was a little bitty fist, and I said, if we come together like this, the Mohawk, the Cherokee, the Shawnee, everybody, we become stronger. So he was listening to me as a four-year-old, and he even went to the elders and you know of my small nation here, and he actually said, had me do that in front of them. Which they said, if you don't shut this boy up, there may be a bullet, which I've already had my bullet. Okay, as far as that goes. But I've had a vision when I was four. I've had a vision when I was 56. Okay. Of unity. That's meaning you keep your, your tradition. If you have the tradition of the Mohawk, say keep that tradition keep the ceremonies keep it's yours but we can come in together for the benefit of the whole which means your kids your elders especially your life givers because without them again you'd be no nation whatsoever to make each other stronger and do what we can for each other because Unity is the main one of the main purposes. We help each other. We if we speak that we're all related, then we start we have to start looking at each other as brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, cousins and everything else and work together in one one benefit. Okay. Yeah, we're at a point of this world where it could go either way really we realize that there's certain factions that have taken mm -hmm. control of everything every 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 thing and it's really important what Dudok just said we've we've seen some things in Kanakota lately that I'm really concerned about and want to bring that in um, to our conversation today and and please anyone who wants to join us and and speak with us today feel welcomed I want to talk about the rule of the land like the real law 
which isn't about a whole bunch of people sitting around and making a law that usually hurts us, but mm. the real laws of the land. For instance, on this continent, there is a reason why people were called nomadic. They walked around. Yeah. It's because there's certain places that you can't live every month of the year. There are places that you are supposed to let go. Because there would be fires there. There would be floods there. There would be hurricanes there. And this was the rule of the land. And those things naturally occurring regenerate mm -hmm. the land. And then as the animals walk by... You know, they're eating stuff. They're, you know, defecating. Mm -hmm. And that would lay the seed for the next generation. This is how things were done here. This is how things were done everywhere, by the way. So, what isn't spoken of often? And it, it's very important right now that the land that you live in no matter where your people are from takes you it does it takes you that's why mm -hmm. here on this continent even during the wars the big wars that have just happened that certain people from far far away became chiefs they were chosen by the tribal elders that's why we've had Scottish people as head chief in different tribes here. We've had we've had well a whole bunch of Irish chiefs here because they were chosen. The land chooses you first. Your DNA changes when you move. This is this is the rule. So People are sending two dog flags that he he puts up, and it's it's so cool that you've done that. That he puts up to say there is now another nation here on this land. So that gives you this is an old rule that gives you right to speak on this continent for your people. That's why even the UN does it. Although they are not going by the old rules. So, I'm concerned right now. Deeply. Well, let, oh, let, me, please. let me do this real quick, Tracy, please. then yeah, I'll let yeah. you have this again. Let me explain one thing. We got a flag through the mail that actually was sent to us by a uh, a uh, matter of fact he's his heritage goes back to the Viking okay to be a, be, to be honest with you and uh, it's from a place in England called County Durham which was just sent here so you know we talk with this individual all the time that actually I may have a speaking engagement in England via Skype with the people of County Durham because what I'm understanding they're trying to make all of them leave their village and go into the city kind of like what uh, I don't know America did with the Navajo, the Navajo at one time so it, it's telling you that no matter where you are, black, white, yellow, red here, it, this, the system is constantly trying, you're having the same problem, period, you know? So uh, I'll yes. hand it back to you, Trey. Yeah, I'm with you there. Not only the same problem, but the system also, the, like the real system, also tries to fix that problem. Mm -hmm. By bringing people over who again will unite us as family. 
and this this is important this is important right now because there's been a new ruling in Canada that if you have any native in your DNA this is one of the reasons why they've been doing a lot of DNA testing up here that you can now and they will know exactly which tribe you belong to and people are celebrating this and on the surface it's really good this is one of the reasons I wanted to talk with you about this because you and I have gone through what I call the kill bill laws yes this is this is bills like C-51 and all of them which a C is just an open earth basically it's a circle broken it's open mm -hmm. wide open and there was an interesting event that two dog and I talked about and I knew from the beginning this was a problem two dog and I had talked about this was going to be a problem so suddenly the Métis are fully native which is fine they are native you know we didn't discriminate about who's the daddy so much but it's also if you can prove that by your DNA that you are part native this goes back to the kill bills again this means this means that you can sell tribal land legally this means if you can prove that you live on it you can now sell that land even though that's not the tribal way because no. land owns you you don't own it but they've changed that law and yes um, the Métis are part French they're also Algonquin and Mi'kmaq and and many many other tribes it just means mixed basically yeah so our Prime Minister who is actually Mi'kmaq mom's side and Algonquin this is why it becomes important this is why they put Trudeau a Trudeau in there and this one specifically yes he's Disney Prince good-looking but he's also Métis and they gave him a headdress he was given a headdress by um, native elders which is an official ceremony and I, sh I showed people and I've been talking about this and it sounds like you know I'm just talking about ancient myths and ancient ways and things like that about Isis and her crown of the five realms later it was seven but it meant continents and he this Trudeau was given it Justin Trudeau so with this new rule Ottawa who is on Algonquin land now has a sitting ruler in a way that has never happened before on this continent and he's sitting in a building that has flags of other nations surrounding it and I was sharing with two dog that I've had a lot of arguments about this 
with Native peoples who are saying this is the best thing to ever happen. I'm like, have you not learned anything from the past? They put in things because they look good to us. If people were noble, it would be a good thing. But these are corporations. Corpus, so it's another kind of body that we don't have. That he can actually now, I mean legally in the old way, stand up and said, and say, you've already made me chief of this continent. As a matter of fact, it can go as far as he could make an argument saying, you've made me chief of this planet. Yeah. Does that sound an argument of it? Does that sound what do you think about that, Tudo? Uh, to me it's according to how much power he thinks he can use with this. It can be a big it, truthfully it can go it can go both ways, but usually when it comes to I don't know, the um America or Canada in itself how much help to indigenous people has it done Apawapiskat look what's going on with that yeah let's let's go there so, thank you it, it's according to how it's according to how much power this young man wants to try to use in Canada now it can go into a downward spiral on an indigenous people if we're not careful with this. If you know what I'm saying, Trey. I really do. Because you and I have talked about the problems on Atawapiskat for years. Oh my God, yes. And I've been in introducing people to um, the pirates who became kings in Europe. Mm -hmm. in my shows that sound like I'm just talking about really esoteric stuff but not so much it is but it's a real thing it's a it's, real it's real reality, thing it's reality truthfully it's, it's really it's, it may sound esoteric but it's reality also those people put themselves in charge by being pirates. They killed enough and stole enough that they could hire people to kill for them. This is the way of governments. This is the way of the planet now. They are not some ancient tribe. These are the new kids on the block, basically. Well, you know, I can add with that here in, you know, here in the United States, part of uh, Turtle Island, I can add, add to that. To be honest with you, there was a, a nation that the last of that nation, I believe, died in 1934 as far as uh, a man called Ishi. And this tribe was in uh, a place called California. Now, we don't have that nation anymore because basically they killed them like going hunting for a deer you know so the Yahi nation which people go Yahi never heard of them of course you haven't because they wiped them out in California you haven't heard Yahi but you've heard Yahoo where do you yeah. think that came from hmm see there you go we re reuse the old terms to remind us on a genetic level that that meant something. We have a thing about to unfold. And I realize, you know, Two Dog and I, and I've been listening to us lately, we had some freaking outrageous shows, you and I. Awesome ones. Oh, yeah, we've had some wild ones too. 
And we actually, in one, and I'm going to post this one later, predicted this current event. Where I don't know where we got it, but I said they will have to go back to the old ways and bring in a native person mm -hmm. to be leader. You did. And I said it's the only reason that they would do some of these laws, these new laws. And what they will say, what they will say is because of the old laws, we too want to go back to the old way. And by the way, Obama can actually even stand as president forever because of these old laws. Tudog and I were talking about this old flag. I haven't showed him yet. But had a flag of the Mohawk and the Haitian together. Mm -hmm. And he has married into a Haitian family. Which by blood law, old law, makes him Haitian. Because you don't, in the ways of our people on this continent, you would not take a man's last name. He would take the woman's last name. Exactly. Which makes him Haitian, which also makes him Canadian, too. Definitely. With some of the things we've been seeing, which have been completely missed by the ones talking about it, this gives him stand to say, I am the chief of North America. It gives... Um, Justin Trudeau the right to say it but the only one who actually holds claim and I don't want to embarrass you about this people have brought you their flags to stand there I've sent you our flags to stand there I have the the flag of um, Haiti and the Mohawk in the mail to you that means not just putting up a flag that means being chosen as representative and I'm wondering if we are not walking into a time where that's going to become an issue and I'm, I'm calling it out live on air that two dog may actually have been elected headman and now, well, it's embarrassing, but it may save our lives. Let's put it this way: it humbles me to even hear such a thing. Because be you've honest. been given flags by not people just from this continent. Well, it's not just from this continent, no. Because actually, to be honest with you, Tracy, right now. I'm having uh, one being sent in as we talk from uh, Australia. And matter of fact, from what I understood, I may be setting with uh, a member of the First Peoples of Australia, and they're actually bringing me a, a flag of their people. Uh, it's coming in with them. I'll be setting with the Mahdi again, and the, I also hold uh, a flag of the Eastern Band Cherokee. I actually set with uh, Mashu, which you know is, is uh, Bird Clan from there, and I hold that. I now hold a two-row peace flag from the Iroquois Confederacy also. Uh, the Mohawk Nation, I also have, uh, like I said, they sent the County Durham one in. I'm going to be setting with a diplomat from uh, the from England, actually, that's bringing me the flag of England, which is blasting me out. I was like, wow, that's, that's, that's such a humbling honor. But uh, let's put it this way. Uh, they're, I don't know if they, they're hearing what I'm saying or... 
or what, but I'm getting them from all over the world right now. I'm actually supposed to be getting one from, uh, I actually got one from Canada. The, uh, the Canadian flag came in. Perfect. And the you know, maple just leaf a lot of is going the on. flag of Canagota. Yes. They used an ancient flag from here. And you will find, you know, when we, when I had that talk about what a totem is, mm-hmm. you will see the ones from us usually have maple leaf somewhere. Yes, yes. Maple yes. is, well, you know, people of all this planet um, first worship trees because trees give us life. There would be no life on this planet now if it was not for the trees there wouldn't be that's why they're killing the trees so this is why I'm saying it's important that Tudog didn't take the flags he did not just post a whole bunch of flags up around him He was given flags, and I know we're told it has to be a government member, but this is not the way of our people, of all of our people on this planet. Here comes the cops. Any person from a certain place could give you their flag, and that meant you are now holding counsel with those people. So, I wanted to put this live on air, because I think, and I've, I've told people, it's time for us to dig in our heels. They are wiping us out. The newest thing that's just come out, that I've been talking about, is they're about to blast the people of the Arctic with mercury. Mm-hmm. Mercury has a certain effect on native people that's a little different. You know, you've probably all heard about mer- mercury that's in your mouths that make people slow, stupid, mm-hmm. for lack of a better mm-hmm. term. It usually makes people kill other people. But with native people, native from here, specifically because this continent does different things to you. You kill yourself. You get depressed and kill yourself. We've just had a two-year-old. It's not... It won't be in the papers because as far as um, I've heard so far, I'm the only one who thinks a two-year-old committed suicide. And when you're young like that, you don't attempt suicide, you do it. This baby is dead. It, it's like, um, Tudok and I were telling you about the weird events that were happening, Canada, United States, all around the Great Lakes, either side of it, that were going out in the middle of winter, taking off their clothes, and yeah. going out naked and yeah. dying obviously the first events of these kinds though were in the Arctic and now we have De Beers again who is from the pirates of uh, not the Caribbean but Europe who took over and you know the only reason they are kings there is because they got rich enough from stealing that they could hire mercenaries and then they took over land so they could have farmers Um, Anyone who's been in the military or read anything about the military knows. Um, 
An army ma- marches on its stomach. You need mm-hmm. to take the farmlands. But at this point, they're taking... I don't know. I think they're coming for our souls. Because they have nothing. And more and more people are actually reading stuff. We're getting more education than we ever got in schools. Just because things are out there and people can read. And are finding out what's going on on this planet. That there's a couple groups that have just taken us over. And it's not the British people, it's not the European people, it's a couple of really rich groups of people who are all intermarried, and so intermarried, by the way, they hide some of their kids. Yes, it's the money situation. If you have the, the money, money to do it, to that, the, the you know, what we call down here the green frog skin, okay, if you have that, you have the power to do whatever, darn near whatever you want. I mean, for good, for goodness sake, look at the American election right now. You have the dumbest individual I've ever seen in my life try to be president of the United States as far as Trump. I watched um, a couple minutes of him say, you know what happened at 7 Eleven? And I'm like, did you mean 9-11? You dumb yeah. ass mofo. <laughs> and, and later found out that, yeah, he was talking about 9-11, but he did say 7-11. Yeah. He said it. But here's, here's my thing about, uh, about this with Mr. Trump, to be honest, as far as the money situation. If you have enough, you can do anything you want. I mean, he goes on public TV and goes, hey, if you're a woman and you disagree with me, the first thing you are is a pig. And you want that guy in the office? If it wasn't for the women, they wouldn't be in America in the first place. There wouldn't be any nation on Turtle Island anyway. There There would be be no life on Earth. We are still birthed in this way. Mm. Period. Yes. You know, we're we're coming to a precipice, like standing on the edge. You've lived this life your whole life. But yes, other people I are have. starting to get it. Let me explain to the people a little bit, Tracy, if I may. Please, why please I've do. Done, why I've actually done uh, what I've done when I was a kid as far as burial ground situations and just situation in general. I mean, uh, I've had to fight every day of my life. They had They tried to kill my mother when I was born. I was born with a stroke. Uh... I've been shot at, stabbed, thrown through windows, and they actually hung me here. Which, hey, I'm still here, I'm still fighting. The fact of the matter is, it was only because of what I am, to be honest with you. Um, I had war in my own country since I was born, Trey. And you have. You're one of those people that I speak of that didn't have to remember things like we're told, who came in here knowing right and wrong. And everything about how you were raised said you should have forgot. But you didn't. No. You said something to your grandfather, I believe, that scared him half to death. Tell people about that. Well, and tell them how old you were. Well, the only thing that scared you know the elders that my grandfather sent me to 
because it did it shocked my grandfather that I'd even actually say this is the only way for survival of all Indian nations to be honest and I held my hand up wide open is that we're like this we're separated we don't you know, we, we don't, you know, it's the, the divide and conquer thing. We don't talk. And then I closed my fist and I said, the only way we come together is to unite together. Keep your traditions, keep your ceremonies, they're yours. But we can talk with each other now and know exactly what we're saying. And it, he, he, he just is shocked him that I said such a thing at that just popped out at four years old. So the elders said, if you're not careful with this child, there's a bullet meant for him. And the only thing my grandfather said to, uh, to them was if the creator has a bullet for my grandson, how am I to stop that? But they wanted him to shut me up. You know, don't yeah. talk, don't let him talk. We've been joined by uh, Tony. Tony, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Hey. hey. How you guys doing? Good. You know, we're... Uh, um, you, I'm not sure if you've heard what we've been going on about, but we're such a at a precipice. And what Tudog just said was, like, huge... You cannot go to any animal and make a claw or a close fist and they not get that. They know instinctually. You have your hand like that, you're going to attack them. Right. At you know, what? Plants, you were four? Yeah, too. I'm sorry, go ahead. You were four, two dog? Well, what I'm saying, to be honest, man, what I said to my grandfather and the, and the elders I stood in front of, is unity means we come in together. Therefore, the fist comes, okay? In other words, if you hold your hand and you look at your hand and you spread it wide open, that's separation. Separation. The system of the focus that they've got is for us to remain separate. And if you're separated, their focus gets even more. Divide and conquer. If we come together and bring all the nations together and that's indigenous nations around the world, or nations in general around the world, okay? Mm. If all of us have the same thought, then we're walking with one mind, one heart, one spirit. That we will not be dominated, but we are to live on this planet the way it is meant to be. We are the only animal as far as nature is concerned the two-legged are the only animal on this mother that is fighting nature is not fighting because let me put it to you real loosely La uh, last year I'll give you a symbol I saw this hawk coming and when I see a hawk it's a good day okay it's just my my spirituality but uh, I have a good day when I see a hawk. But I have a flock of chickens out here, okay? And I have four ravens, big black ravens living here. I've seen the ravens go out and turn this hawk upside down and push them away. And I've seen one hawk landing, I mean, one raven landing the land in the tree here 
and he looked down at the rooster that I have in this hen, in this, with these flock of chickens, right? The raven cawed a little bit, looked down at the rooster, and actually bowed his head. The rooster walked over where the raven was, looked up at the raven, done his little or whatever he did, and he bowed back. Why can't we do that? I think we did do that. I put up a picture on our site when I was going to um, do the the programming show, but we're actually doing that anyway, so it's awesome. Mm. There is this ancient drawing. It's from deep in the earth because our people apparently had to run and go deep in the earth. What makes this picture so awesome is it was found in France. And it has people, people whose hands are up in the air, waving it like they just don't care, basically. And yes, I did want to sing that. But they are in all different colors. And this was before all different colors supposedly happened. As a matter of fact, the people they said made this picture were like little monkey people, actually big monkey people. But this picture struck me so hard, guys, that not only did they know it, they saw it. And that we as family and if you see the whole picture which part of the picture actually you're not allowed to see like I, I can't find it anywhere but up above it's it's showing stars and constellations these were not idiots these were not monkeys these were not the unaware and actually if you really look it shows the constellations then and the constellations now saying remember what we are and if you get a chance to go on Trace Elements Radio look at my deprogramming picture and you will see hands of many colors who I have been told we have been told did not even exist at that time I stand friggin corrected because somebody saw them we, we also Tracy we got to look at uh, the let, let's look at European sit, uh, situation also let's just go over there no, I'll hold on we're going to break everyone um, thank you for listening Hang with us, Tony, and uh, welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Trace Elements Radio, and I've brought in the big guns today, Chief Charles Dudog and Tony King, and we haven't had a chance to let Tony say anything. <laughs> Apologies. So oh, no, that's fine. I didn't want to interrupt you guys' conversation. You guys had some powerful stuff to say. Please, please go ahead, Tony. What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking a lot of things. There was something I wanted to direct towards um, Two Dog because uh, I know uh, what he does for uh, the Native community. Um, well, first, I want to ask you something. Typically, uh, throughout time, treaties are drawn up on paper, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How can we, as Native people, how do I say this, like progress or grow um, as a nation when most of these treaties are written up? on pain and suffering and death because that's what the paper is 
let me explain to you a little bit of this how this system can actually work to, uh, Tony real quick let's put it this way I'm an indigenous man okay mm -hmm. I don't give my word much but when I do I keep it okay and we as, in, as Indian people we can we know what the white paper means okay in other words there's been especially Turtle Island let's put it this way there's been at least 499 treaties made with the United States I can say it here every treaty has been broken not by us now if I said with say someone from an another indigenous nation okay Mm -hmm. and we're talking and we want to make this treaty between each other that will work to help each other right we do not need the white paper as long as we can reach out and put our hands across each other's forearm left I use my left side because that is where my heart is Okay. Mm -hmm. My my hand my shaking of your arm and yours of mine should be enough as men to say our our true hearts are together. That should be the bond, not the paper. Yeah, because your word is your bond. Your word is your bond, exactly. In in other words, if I say I'm going to do this, I'm going to die trying to get it done. It's just that way. You know, I don't, I don't want to say, you know, this is so for a lot of people, uh, but if it feels like people in power are focused on what's written down on paper instead of yes. unifying like our people you know we have Cherokee and Lakota and we have these different nations like why can't we see that we're just all one nation well here's what we're doing here's the way I look at this okay let's look at it this way you have always on Turtle Island, we, this is where all indigenous people came from. We did not, you know, this has been, this was told to us that the Cherokee have been here for at least 300,000 years. You know, situation. This is where we're from, okay? There was, uh, you know, Southern, Northern Cheyenne, they were Lakota, they were Pawnee, they were Saligi, Shawandasi, uh, Haudenosaunee. All people, right? All these nations. Only thing you have to do, if you really wish to speak, is take you a blanket, go on their territory, lay it down, hold, put something on it, hold your hands out. That's telling you that you're not a threat, right? Mm-hmm. The fact of the matter is, you know, we spoke different nations, you know, different languages. I understand that. But see, here's the big mess. Here's the big mess that, say, America and Canada did to the, their own, to themselves. Okay? Let's put it this way. If I don't understand, say, Shawnee, I don't understand what you're saying. Or you don't understand uh, the Saligi language or the, the, you know, whatever. The, the way I look at it, the residential schools and the uh, schools we had here did one, one thing they might not should have done. And that's teaching us the, the English, I hate to say because that's not really my first... Uh, first language but 
they've now done it to where we understand each other. We can communicate together. You see where I'm going? Yeah, they've they've broken that spell barrier between us. Yeah. You know, yeah. guys, when so it's awesome. Thank you, everybody, for sending me questions. Feel free to call in too. Like we welcome your thoughts on this. They are coming out even on Wikipedia now. Who is no longer friggin' caring about the truth they're laying out there? That the brothers Grimm who gave us fairy tales that were ancient, ancient, but put it in a certain way, and their stories were dark. I'm not using the term dark as in black. I'm using the term dark as in full-out evil, because you can see on Wikipedia where the brothers Grimm, Joseph, by the way, He's another J. He's a hook. Comes out and says, I will make for you a language of evil. And it was after him that they made dictionaries. Diction. Diction is actually a really bad word. Really bad word. That talked about changing the way we could even deal with it and that they will go forth and make us all speak this language a language where no one's first language is English not on this planet we never spoke of such things our names meant you walk with fire like the sun our names were not just monikers of we're a mason or a builder. Our names were the power that the grandmothers gave us to come in here. The initial strength. Not the names we changed to later because that the rights where people became adults. They chose their own name. They chose two names. One to kept silent one to say to people that's who you are we now have something so sickly this language that people if if you want to feed your family and I've said it before in so many different ways when a really rich guy says don't worry you're the good guy pick up this gun and you can feed your family you pick up that damn gun it does not mean you're a bad guy it just means you're trying to feed your family you pick up that gun and shoot that guy in the head and think later you're the good guy and then you usually go crazy out of your mind because we are not natural born killers we're not it's it goes against everything we are no we're natural born lovers we are we're lovers we create art and music we draw circles in the sand we don't even make monuments we don't make temples because we have them in our heads our people knew this everywhere on this planet we didn't have to build when they started building the big monuments and yeah I know that's bothering people but when we did that we already knew we were so in trouble yeah, because now you're using outside objects to do things that you are meant to do within. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, um, I'm so glad you guys are on here with me today because I really needed some help. Because Anytime. I um, 
some of the stuff that the three of us have spoken of privately and on shows together, even in the last six years. Because I've been going over some of the stuff we've said, and I'm like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. So for, for the Native people who are offended by some of the stuff I've been talking about, because I'm getting attacked now. So, when I say what's happening in Atawapiska, which Chief Teresa Spence talked about, that has been talked about before. This is about De Beers, guys. This is about the true Illuminati, the real... the Jews that you're told to be afraid of. It's not a religion, although I'm sure they have them. It's about a group of people who got really scared. They got really scared when the Russians killed the royal family. And they decided and we've been taught this war over and over again, but they decided recently that they would never let us think for ourselves again. What they didn't understand, I think, and I want your opinion on this, what they didn't understand is this earth brings what it wants. And as much as they've tried to destroy our minds and our consciousness and our are remembering that we're family. The fact that we're sitting here talking about this proves they can't. John, you want to you want to add to that, and I'll just throw this out after you. Yeah, when she was saying, I, I just I want to add to what she was saying when they basically try to to destroy us you can't you might be able to wipe out you know a clan of people or a small group of people but you can't destroy all the melanin because that's what it boils down to that's that's what they're after they're after our melanin that's why they want us to kill ourselves because they know that the control system that they've set up in place is at its end and we are getting our power back that's why they're trying so hard to block out the sun and 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 change our DNA through our food and, and stuff like that if that's what you want to call food because even my vegetables don't even taste the same uh, I can do it like this I can say it like this you know basic they've actually stated in this state that you know that has met with me you know some of the high ups or other things mayors and stuff that I'm backwards that's what they say I'm backwards because if if you walk over here let's just say you walk over here to one of the standing ones that's in front of me and you're going to take it down for nothing but that's my relation, man. That's my relation. No, 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 no. Gentlemen, I, I would like to tell you that we have been joined by um, Harry Williams. Do you hear hey, us? Harry. Hello. Hello. <laughs> as, uh, as my... Uh, it's really hard to hear you you're cutting in and out can you do anything about your um, connection sorry about that guys 
that's okay. I mean, yeah, it happens. I, it happens on here, believe me. <laughs> something <laughs> happened, and I think we should talk about this because there's something else happening on our site now. Which is oh, like, yes. let's not forget that. Truly friggin' annoying. Okay. Tudok and I were typing something in the room, and Tudok and I are the only ones who can change anything that's written in our chat. Mm -hmm. Both of what we said just disappeared. We were talking about the mercury poisoning that is happening in the Arctic and in at a Wapiscat right now. And I wanted to put up a link, and I actually, I think I did put up a link of how they know that's happening. And how also they know it does something different to people's from here. And it just disappeared. Also, on my site, traceelements.com on our site guys um, suddenly we have some pictures of articles that I did put up that are blocking out some of the things I said or wrote and I'm not able to s make them smaller Re Ridiculous. Is this how you got it? You know, you got the higher powers of the universe and you've told us this. That's all you got? <laughs> That's how they're censoring you now? They got somebody trolling your, your they, site? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I mean, you got some broke back freaking hacker and that's what he's got? Please, wow. you suck like a hoover. Probably getting paid twelve dollars an hour, and probably working you've for the always, FBI. You've always, Bastards. you've always known, Tracy, that someone with a true heart and someone with true thinking of what's really going on here in the world, you simp uh, systematically. Well, how I put it, I'm very dangerous. Okay. When you become dangerous to, say, the system or whatever, you you get this occasionally. Well, this is ridiculous. How dare you, like, even touch anything that I've made? Do you not know who I am? You bastards. <laughs> well, I will find a way to fix this, but know that I am perturbed. Like, like well, that's not going to get the information out. Yeah, I, I want, touch the I top to, of each article, and you can still read the article. So, like, stuff. I, I also want to say a, a big thank you very much to uh, the Bear Clan uh, Parole. I mean, the troll that they're having right now <laughs> is to help, you know, help the... Uh, young people with uh, what's going on and keeping everything, you know. At, at a Wapiscat. I want to say a big thank you. Yeah, I want you to know what they're doing? Let's talk about that for a minute. Okay, these are not the guys just saying, you know, we're going to go there and help them because they're hearing that every five years at a Wapiscat. But they are also keeping the children from walking to, there's there's an aquifer there. This aquifer is horrifically poisoned by mercury. Mm. But children are being drawn to it. They're going in the middle of the night, like Two Dog and I were talking about about kids leaving their houses in the dead middle of winter and stripping off their clothes and suddenly leaving the house. It's yeah. like that event, and yes, I will go on any show you want to talk about, and I will show you how that two-year-old who just died, 
after the 15 people who tried to kill themselves, who that child was called out by something. Yeah. Yeah, I will stand up with that. I don't, I don't think that um, I'm wrong on this. I don't. And building them a community center, which actually Native people are backing because that's going to help. It's De Beers, my brothers and sisters. Do we not know what De Beers is yet? Call me. I'll go on your show. Um, I, I want to ask... Hey, Harry, can you try to say something? See if that works again. Sure. Can you hear me clearly? No. Okay. I'm going to. I'm going to repeat it. Let's see. We finally get callers. See what they do to us. Well, you know, Tracy. Go ahead, what gentlemen. I seriously, what I seriously think to be honest with you and this is for all all people and I'm, I'm throwing this out indigenously okay what I'm asking for my indigenous brothers and sisters especially Turtle Island and indigenous around the world what I'm thinking in my heart and in my mind is that there's a new window in its way and for those who don't feel you're going to be blown away. You're going to be blown clean. So we're going to have to get back to what we truthfully are with this, with our mother and start taking care of each other like it should be. Yeah, we definitely need to, to come together as communities, start growing our own food and things that like that get on that barter system that you guys have talked exactly. about. Definitely the need barter that. system works, Tony. Oh yeah. It's worked for how long? Thousands Ever. of years. Don't fix something that ain't broke. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's also something. Right now most people don't know how to make anything. No. Even their own bread. So, you know, if we're bartering, if we get to a po point where the government finally collapses, which it's well past its due date, most mm -hmm. people, like our grandparents, knew not only had to forage, but they had, I don't know about you guys, but my grandmother had this thing that I used to laugh about. I'm like, the war isn't coming, and she'd just look me in the eye and say, girl, the war is always coming. <laughs> well said. The war is always coming. Keep some stuff in the house. And I'm like, you don't even drink. Why is there booze here? She goes, there's booze. And there's cigarettes here that I keep on ice. Don't worry. We're going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> and now they call them preppers. And this is alternative. No! This is what our people did. Because they knew these light things that we call electricity was always going to fall. Trying to make it seem like it's something new. Yeah, it's not new. Our people knew to do that. <laughs> up here. It's not new. Up here, which is hilarious, because I, I also got into another argument about that. I, I don't know how I get into these things and why people ask my opinion when they realize I'm going to say what I think. We had trees that we used to bend, and they would point... To a location which basically meant go that way so now they're saying it was like um, Sasquatch no it was not Sasquatch it was people putting the trees knowing they'd grow that way if you combine them together and say go that way because it's freaking winter and go that way 
Well, yeah, I can say it like I can say it like this too, uh, guys. There was one nation that was moving. Okay, they were moving, and they put this <coughs> tree. They would actually <coughs> pack a tree with them. <coughs> Excuse me. They put this potent tree in the ground, and they'd go to sleep. And when they woke <coughs> woke up. If that tree was bending one direction, they would follow that direction. And they did this till they, I think, uh, hit Mississippi, I do believe. And they put it in the ground like they did before. And now it's staying straight up. So it's where that nation is right now. You see what I'm going yeah, they said we went there. I put up this whole series of pictures. People saying, you know, that these people who lived on this continent years ago, you know, were just talking about hypothetical. No, they pointed to a constellation. They pointed to one actually called Triangulum now, mm-hmm. which is the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the great goose, the woman. And that's how they capped the pyramids, with that symbol. The symbol of the triangle, when it points to out there, meant, look there, that's where we went. I I can't mm-hmm. see it as anything else. Yeah. Yeah. People were not liars back then. It's hard to imagine now when we have so many liars around us that our people, ancient all over the world, said, we went there, we're going to be back. And by the way, our hands up here that are shown all over the world I have at least 87 sites. Don't make me post them all, because you know I will. All over the world who had hands of different colors before there were supposed to be hands of different colors. So obviously there were that said, we went there. And actually some of them, if you look at the pictures I did post on the sites, had three fingers. Some of them had six. How do you how do you build a worldwide grid without communicating with other people? That's not random. Those the pyramids and everything put up, all the monuments on the ley lines. Pointing well, basically you know, to the same place. That's true, Tony. You know, exactly you know, to be honest, when I uh when I did set with the Mari out here and we spoke and we did, you know, we spoke about what, you know, what's going on, their culture, the Hakka, by the way, it's awesome. Mm. We, we're finding out between us and the Mari that are all the way in Aotearoa as far as New Zealand, their home, is that we're not that different at all. Mm-mm. We all have the same problem. Water rights, uh, hunger in the in in their nations and malfunctions. But see, we like uh, we're getting back to the treaty again. Like uh, we had four hundred and ninety nine treaties that were broken by the United States government, not by the indigenous people. The Maori only have one treaty, Treaty of Waitangi, okay? They only have one treaty. So, you see the difference here. But, the same instance is, we all, whether they're the Maori from, uh, like, you know, way up in Aotearoa, New Zealand, or any First Nations here on Turtle Island, we're having the same issue. 
so that brings people closer together because we understand each other. We know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Now, how do we how do we take our hands together and help each other do it? Right. We have a right. We all indigenous people. I'll say it around the world, but I'm gonna say it since I live here on Turtle Island. Okay. The Mohawk have a right to exist. The Cree, the Mohawk, the admission now that. But the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. They have a right to exist. You see how I'm going? Oh yeah. So here's the here's the main deal. Since we see that this is happening worldwide and we can speak to each other and actually learn different languages too but we can speak to each other in one complete language to understand it what's going on here unity starts to happen unity is how we start marching here to where everything is in the right focus. I used to say all the time, we need to get back to the mountain and get focused because we are so out of focus right now. But it's that divide and conquer thing. Who would ever think in this little nation that we would have the Maori from New Zealand come set in, you know, on my care, uh, at my tribal office here or my home? And I, I would have never thought it. I want to say, so, when this becomes an issue, which I think it is, and no one will agree with me, well, you guys probably will, but no one else has, this will become an issue. I'm going to back to Doug. Okay. I think we've been joined by Harry. You want to try that again? Okay, this is take three. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's better. Much better. <laughs> Greetings. How's it going? Fellow Earthlings. <laughs> I'm calling I'm calling from Australia. I've been listening to your show uh so really enjoying it. So I'm quite I mean to the um it's the 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 roots uh the to see um across for to help <coughs> restore the planet. Again, we're getting every other word again. Mm. Well, round four might help you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My God, <laughs> really? It are Just we that talk. dangerous today? Just let the man talk. Uh, oh, let it. Yeah. Let him talk. He's not bothering anybody. Yeah, well, you got come on. With his connection. Come on. Well, that's a shame. Yeah. Yeah, it is a shame, man. Because he, you know, he, he's really trying. Yeah, shit. Hey, it's a mess. I wanted to hear what he had to say. Yeah, me too. My I God. would be. I would. I'm honored to hear he's out of the out of the uh, out of Australia. I'd love to hear what he had to say. Yeah, me too. Now, I heard him say something about restoring the planet. Yeah, That's and we're with you yes. on that. We need yes, to I'm go back. I don't want to go out this way. I, I don't can say something. I can say something about what we used to do here on Turtle Island when America was made, and I can say it like this, they used to ask us, they actually used to ask us who we were. And we would always say the people, oh, you're Indians, and it stuck, okay? You know, uh, uh, we're all Indians, okay? Okay, whatever, but let's, I want to go back to uh, the late John Trudell for just a minute. 
when you know basically they're calling us uh, American Indians here. Uh, John Trudell, right before, I think like right before he died, actually stated that uh, how can we be American Indians when we're older than America? Mm. We've always been telling them that we're the people, the nay. Uh, you know, Haudenosaunee people, the longhouse. Other things of that manner, Okay. And they never could get our names right so as far as Salagi, Shamabasi, Hogmashoni. So, oh, now we're this and that, you know. How can we be Native American, or so to speak, when we're older than America? Same reason how. I'm an African American. I'm part African American, and yeah. I have no descent to a Roman general. Let's put it this way: say Afri the African American. Okay, if you are if you're a descendant of Kenya, okay, can't you be a Kenyan? That would, that would make me Kenyan American, right? Would it not be? The peop the thing that we've got to do as a people, general, in general, okay, what I'm saying, is that if I look at you and you're from, say, the Haudenosaunee, okay, love, honor, and respect you. Give that respect. Every action has equal reaction. So if I give you love, honor, and respect, can't you equally give that love, honor, and respect back? If I do you no harm, and I stand with you on anything, as long as it helps the people, can't we help each other? Yeah, you would think that that energy would invite that same kind of energy. Yes, one energy brings the same energy to it. Understand that if you come at me in, in a war like, I'm coming back at you. Every action has equal reaction. Exactly. So if you give me respect, I give you respect back. If you do me no harm, I do you no harm. We can talk. It's, the, it, 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 it's happening around the world. I've done had two or three nations here already. So, it can't happen. It's like I'm saying, it's a possibility to my mind that there's a new wind on its way and for those who don't feel it are going to be blowed away. The wisdom wind. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I agree with that too. Beautiful. We are against so much right now but it's not that strong if it was that strong they would have just cut me off they didn't well, and there's I'm Harry like right Tracy. back here I'm like this Tracy I you know I have been known in this area to be quite dangerous it's only because they think I'm backwards. You know, I'm I'm not into the great society that's what's going on, but I'm seeing what the great society is doing to people. And I love that they call you that. I will do a whole show on what back words are. Assholes. Yeah. <laughs> so as far as backwards... Yes, you are. I'm proud I, of it. Say you're proud of it because it's awesome. Well, I'm proud of being, you know, I'm proud of being the traditional that I am. It's the tonic for this illness. The backwards yes. are. Yes. Can you I mean, can you hear me clearly now? We can hear you perfect now. Oh, I hear That's you beautiful. now. <laughs> beautiful. Well, I just want to say uh, thanks for having me on your show, Trace, for, to begin with. And um, I've been really li enjoying listening to you, you fellas chat with Tracy. 
about um, the stuff that is, uh, you know, the, the, the earth, the rocks are crying out for, basically. And, um, I, you know, I agree wholeheartedly. And uh, this, <coughs> this time now that we're in is quite monumental for all of us. Uh, I, when I, just to give you a background, I'm a, uh, I suppose a bit of a wanderer, a bit of a nomad, and um, because I, I was born in the UK, but I came out to Australia when I was three, and then we travelled all over Australia and New Zealand, um, growing up as a child, and uh, lived in a lot of beautiful wild places. And my father was very um, uh, much uh, um, into um, indigenous culture of the Americas, you know, and the in Indians and all the stories and bury my heart at Wounded Knee and all that sort of stuff. So I was brought up with all that sort of uh, imaginings and, you know, I used to make my own bows and arrows and stuff as well. But <coughs> saying all of that, the time now for everyone is I think is to is to is to harken back to our mother and um and I see it because of the surging of technologies and the yearning of the cry of, of what we're all about is peace, love and harmony with every living thing. Um is I think I believe that we can now look at constructing flutes at the nanoscopic scale to sing a sail, um, I suppose, of rocks to attenuate the thrones or what do you want to call them, the sacred places where the ascension happens and um, all across the planet but it takes the understandings of all all of the people who have been keeping their stories for this time because if our ancestors are in the stars then we have and we are the product of their seeding then we in our course of time will become the, as our ancestors in a star and this is what, to my understanding, from all the stuff that I've learnt over the years, is uh, is the restoration of the firmament. Well, I can say it like this also, my friend. Oh, thank you for being with us from over there in Australia. And uh, the thing I could say is one of our peoples, one of the nations here, used to say it like this. If they had a relation and that relation walked on or died or is no longer here. They used to say that they could look up in the sky and there'd be a new star there that they'd never even seen before. Mm. And within that new star, they can see their loved one. So, yeah. They walked on or they walk on. Mm. Maybe mm. that's how we got our word. Too. Maybe that's but, where know, that word meant. Let's put it this way, and I'm going to say this to uh, to the gentleman that uh, is with us right now. Okay, I'd like to say it like this: We all have spirit inside this three dimensional shell that we live in. Okay, we all are spirit. So. If we're all spirit, my brother, aren't we holy? Don't we have a holy spirit then? All spirits are holy. All spirits are what the Lakota used to call waka. Men's holy. Okay? So if we are spirit walking in this three-dimensional shell, then aren't we all holy? Of course we are. Yep. Yeah. 
anyone want to take the talking stick on that one? I'd yeah, just like to say, um, excuse me, Tony, before you go on, and I want you to, that I am so grateful to be joined by such magnificent warriors today. I I needed some help, so thank you for coming on. Go uh, ahead. It's a pleasure. You know, I thank wanted you. to to add to what Two Dog was saying about the the spirit. If we are spirits that have physical bodies so that we can experience and our spirits are naturally holy, divine, and our body is our temple, then what are we doing to our spirits by feeding it negativity? Whether it comes in the form of chemicalized food or um, you know poison television whatever what are we it doing to ourselves spirit. it kills your spirit it makes your spirit sick when we get away from the spirituality of who we are on this earth mother which they continuously throw fear at you, especially world media, okay? So that takes away the connection of who you are. Fear always does it. The way I look at it, the way I look at it is that I'm a, I'm a spirit here in this three-dimensional shell. You can kill my body if you want to, but you can't take my spirit. It won't happen. That's right. We live forever. It's a it's yeah. an eternal it's an eternal it's an eternal thing. You know, we've just chosen to be here at this time to experience this thing that we're part of. <clears throat> and I I agree with what you were saying before about um, the earth brings forth its its flavor over the top of the because all <clears throat> media is is an art. It's a form, it's their art form of control. We have our own art forms, we have our own forms of expression that we can express through our own art. And if we do that, choose to do that every day, well then <coughs> we've, uh, we're walking our paths, you know. Mm. And, um, and that's the way that I think the people who are being in these generations that are coming forward now are really um, empowered to do like this is what the earth is bringing us you know is these is all of us uh, as well as the, the ones that will just over wave uh, uh, wash over the current dying um, kingdom that has been on the earth for a few thousand years or whatever it's been you know and um, yeah, so we are on this precipice of massive change and it's exciting to be alive right now. It's the most exciting time like, you know, in my life as far as I'm concerned of the possibilities and the plausibilities of the, of, you know, seeing our mother use us to help in its um ability to transform itself in its healing way it's just incredible you know I'm, I'm curious you, you said your name was Harry right yeah um, what what changes if any are you experiencing there in Australia <clears throat> question. well I'm experiencing changes like I'm, I'm out and about uh, I'm, I try to get called an antichrist in church by talking about change I, that's my one of my hobbies, and um, because you got to, for, for my philosophy is, is be, you need to be on the streets anyway, wherever you go. You know, you got to walk your truth. So, mm -hmm. and because I live in where I live, um, I influ I try to be uh, have an influence or have a have an impact and gauge what's going on um, on 
at the street level and so I go to these churches not necessarily uh, fellowship but uh, attend lunches and I play guitar or just or harp or whatever I've got to play in places like that and sing that's pretty cool oh and there we are I wish done. we had some more time you know what we're going to continue on Trace Elements Radio